Hey, what's up, iOS developers? Welcome back to a new episode of iOS Tutorial Quick Bytes. Uh, so today we will talk about something related to the Unicode Scalar. If you haven't heard this term in iOS, don't be afraid, and uh, I will make it very easy to you. So let's get started. Here we are at the Xcode, and you guys don't need to worry about programming, and uh, I think I will explain to you guys, and it's going to be very quick. We're seeing the project that I have already made and uploaded in GitHub repository. This whole project is related to the new Swift 4 features, and inside of it, I'm talking about something related to the Unicode Scalar. So we're going to make this function available in the Playground. So I created one empty playground. We're gonna print something like like a heart. Uh, one thing I want you to know: the heart is uh, visually is this guy. Uh, you can find it directly in the Xcode edit emoji and symbols. Uh, you can copy it from here, like somewhere here, right? So it is actually a Unicode which matches the hex value 2000. I mean, not 2000, it's 2665, and then its decimal is going to be 9829. We're going to print this part into a string in three ways. So the first one, we're going to print directly using Unicode Scalar. So in this case, we have to directly init with the integer value. So one thing you need to know is when we init Unicode Scalar, by default, iOS only takes I, uh, int 8, which is like 8 digits or 2 to the power of 8 as the certain value. Any value more than 127, it will be optional. So you can, um, you should be aware of that. So because we're using more than 9,000, it's going to be a uh, optional value. And that's why in the next line, we're going to use this exclamation mark. But for here, uh, as you see, we can directly define the output using this Unicode Scala, which is innated here, and then uh, if we copy and paste the value here, um, if we want to make it not non-optional, we have to add exclamation mark. So it's gonna be a heart, like I like we expected. So the second way, if you know the hex value you are expecting for Unicode, you can directly use backslash u, and then you can use this curly brackets, um, and then use this hex value, so you can get the same heart as well. And the third way is kind of the, this one is really easy. Like I mentioned in the beginning, if you go to the edit, find some emojis or symbols, uh, you can just copy it from the hit there to here, and it will really, at the end of the day, it will print this thing out directly. The thing I want to mention here additionally is remembering Swift 2 or 3, when we try to print output of a string, usually we need to use output.characters.count because a string is not a collection, we cannot print dot .count. But now in Swift 4, Apple is making string back to collections, so we can can again use this count to find out the number of characters in this string. So I think this is pretty much about it. Hope you learned something from today's iOS tutorial quick bite with you. Stay tuned by subscribing to my channel, follow me on the GitHub as well as joining my Facebook group. And now I will give you all the links in the video description. And I will see you soon in the next one.